What's up guys, this is Blash from Racing Brick. After my review of the 10277 Crocodile locomotive was published, I received a lot of questions about uh, potential power functions motorization of the set. Officially, we get guidelines in the instructions to motorize it with a powered up hub and the motor, but as most of us still have power functions components, it is still a valid point to check out. If we would like to make the set remote controlled with the standard power functions infrared system, we will have to use the AAA battery box or the rechargeable battery box, an infrared receiver, one of the infrared remotes and the power functions motor. It can be either the medium or the large motor. There are two challenges to solve. Although the power functions battery box has the same height as the powered up hub, the placement of the connector is different. The power functions connector sits on top of the battery box and that already interferes with the roof of the train, so this has to be changed. The other big challenge is the placement of the infrared receiver. Since it is four studs wide, the best thing is to put it in the central unit, but the only free space is above the motor, so it will stick out of the roof for sure. The top of the receiver needs to be uncovered anyway, it is needed for the infrared signal. Unfortunately I don't have too many system pieces around at the moment, so I only used what was originally in the set. This is a very crude build, more like a proof of concept. I'm sure there will be a lot of sophisticated conversions available in a few weeks. As you see I had to split the roof to two sections because of the infrared receiver. The bigger part has a similar structure to the original, but I had to make it thinner to be able to put it on top of the power functions connector. The other end is basically only the pantograph with a brick that holds it in place. Inside you can see the battery box, the infrared receiver and the motor. I tested it first with the large motor as it is the more powerful one. I snapped a few extra photos of the modification if you would like to use it as a base, you can see them by clicking on the link above. Now let's see how it runs. I first used a simple power functions remote that only has a bang bang control. The train runs at full speed and as you see the speed is pretty decent. The other power functions remote offers a much better control for trains. As you see the speed control works properly for the non-train motor as well. I attached my city train to see the power of the large motor. The speed is still pretty decent with the extra load. Now let's remove the large motor and replace it with the medium motor. It has a similar speed but it is much weaker. As you see the train's top speed drops significantly with the extra load and it actually struggles to move. If you want to use the crocodile locomotive with a lot of cargo, then it's actually better to choose the large motor. If the locomotive runs alone, then the medium motor does an acceptable job. Now let's try it with the Boovies unit. If you're not familiar with this one, it is a third-party Bluetooth controller with a built-in rechargeable battery that can provide higher voltage to your power function motors. For more information, you can click on the link again in the top right corner. As you see, the Boovies unit is one stud shorter than the Power Functions battery box. That means there won't be any problem with the roof, despite the Power Functions connector being on the top. The app has a pre-configured train profile that we can use for the test. We only need to find the unit, add it to the profile, and as we have the motor connected to the first port, we are good to go. The speed of the locomotive can be adjusted with the slider. This is full speed in normal mode. It is pretty much similar to the speed of the power functions version. Now let's set the speed to fast mode. And this is the ludicrous mode, which is quite impressive with this motor. Remember, we still have the medium motor in the locomotive. If we attach the city train, you can see that the power seems to be already enough in normal mode. But as we switch to fast and ludicrous, the train accelerates significantly. Now let's switch back to the large motor. With that the boobies unit can really show its abilities. This is full speed with the train connected. If you compare it to the medium motor version you can clearly see the extra speed and power. If we run the locomotive alone with the large motor and the boobies unit it will become dangerously fast. It did not derail but that was not far from it. So, as you see with a few modifications you can fit the power functions infrared components in the train and it will run well. With the locomotive alone, even a medium motor is enough, but if you want to pull something, then I suggest a large motor. If you want to stick to the original look, or you want extra power, then the Boovies unit might be a really good choice. 
please share your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you don't want to miss my technical reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.